Now, let us look at this differential equation, uh, which is of second order differential equation, and it is non-homogeneous. And uh, we have the conditions, initial conditions, which is given. Uh, that is y of 0, which is 2, and y dash of 0, which is 1, so that you can find the general solution for the given equation. Okay. Let us see uh, the different methods to solve this problem. Okay. Here's one. Now, the regular uh, method of solving this is first we have to write in the form of f of d into y is equal to 0. Uh, that is uh, equating to 0, that is making it as a homogeneous equation so that you can find the complementary function that is auxiliary equation corresponding to this will be uh, m square plus 5m plus 6 is equal to 0. So, uh, since it is a quadratic equation, you have got two uh, solutions. So, you get m as minus 2 comma minus 3. So, uh, yc will be uh, the complementary uh, function yc, which is c1 e to the power of minus 3t plus c2 e to the power of minus 2t. Now, let us find the particular integral that is pi, which we write as yp, which is 5 into e to the power of 2t divided by, uh, this is uh, the function, which is f of t, which is d square plus 5d plus 6. Okay. Um, uh, we found the factors for this d plus 2 and d plus 3, right? Uh, wherein we got the auxiliary equation here. Now, uh, this is uh, d square plus 5d plus 6. Okay. Okay. Now, let us solve this. Now, if you consider um, here d as uh, 2, let us uh, substitute this. We get as yp, which is, uh, uh, this is 5 by 20 when you substitute here e to the power of 2t or it is 1 by 4 e to the power of 2t. Uh, so, uh, the solution will be y is equal to yc plus yp, okay, which is y, uh, y of t will be requiring this. So, y of t, which is function of t, is uh, equal to c1 e to the power of minus 3t plus c2 e to the power of 2t plus we got uh, yp, which is 1 by 4 e to the power of 2t. Now, we have been given the initial conditions, which is y of 0, which is 2 and y dash of 0, which is 1. Okay. Now, here we got y as this. So, we'll find y dash of t because we, we got to find y dash of t here, which is uh, minus 3 c1 e to the power of minus 3t minus 2c2 e to the power of minus 2t and this is 1 by 2 e to the power of 2t. Now we got uh, y dash of t. Now uh, when t is equal to 0, okay, so uh, y of 0 is equal to c1 plus c2 
plus 1 by 4, right? We know what is y0. Let us substitute it. So it is 2. So c1 plus c2 plus 1 by 4 is equal to 2 or uh, we can rearrange this as 2c1 plus 2c2 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to 4. Okay, keep this equation 1. We may require this later. So when you substitute t is equal to uh, 0 in this uh, equation. So uh, y dash of 0 now this will be minus 3c1 right and minus 2c2 and this is plus 1 by 2 or we we got this y dash of 0 which is 1 equated so we get this as minus 3c1 minus 2c2 plus half is equal to 1. Okay, so keep this as equation 2. Now, here we got B, both these equations to find c1 and c2. Okay, so uh, after uh, simplifying these 1 and 2 uh, equations, uh, we get C1 as minus 4 and C2 as 23 by 4. Okay. So your final solution will be Y of T, which is equal to 23 by 4 e to the power of minus 2T. Okay. Minus 4 e to the power of minus 3t plus 1 by 4, that is yp, e to the power of 2t. This is the solution. This is one of a kind. Okay. Uh, we'll try to uh, solve by another method, which is called undetermined coefficient. Okay. Let us see that. Now, uh, let us solve this uh, by... Uh, another method that is um, the method of undetermined coefficients. Okay, so let us look at this. Uh, the usual way uh, first is we already found that is. Uh, equating to 0, getting uh, yc, which is c1 e to the power of minus 3t and c2 e to the power of minus 2t, right? Now, uh, to get the particular integral or yp, uh, now let us solve that. Now, let us consider here um, on the right-hand side, you might have noticed that, let me show you. Is a five into e to the power of two uh, t, which is an exponential function. So uh, we got to keep the right hand side as uh, the exponential function and the constant. So uh, you get the particular integral, which is k into e to the power of two t. This will be your y. Okay. So uh, we got to find y dash, which is which is two k e to the power of 2t and y double dash which is 4k e to the power of 2t uh, now uh, which is your equation y double dash uh, plus you have uh, 5y dash plus 6y is equal to 5 into e to the power of 2t right so let us substitute all these uh, which you found. Okay, so which will be uh, this is uh, to find this coefficient, okay, which is the undetermined coefficient, right? So uh, let us substitute it. This is a 4k e to the power of 2t plus 5 into 2k 
e to the power of 2t and this is 6k e to the power of 2t which is equal to the right hand side 5 e to the power of 2t right when you solve this so you get the k value as 1 by 4 which is your required result which is yp 1 by 4 e to the power of 2t so y will be yc plus yp so and uh, the same uh, as usual which we found in the previous uh, method okay please follow the same so you get the same answer okay now we have also seen that uh, uh, while solving this we get uh, the solution okay now let us try uh, by another method okay yeah by variation of parameters okay so we'll see that okay uh, by variation of parameters right so the same as usual uh, which uh, we have got um, that is uh, fi finding the finding the complementary function okay complementary function yc okay so once we write on that okay which we got as y c which is c1 e to the power of minus 3t plus c2 e to the power of minus 2t right now we need yp which is a into u plus b into v to find that so your u a will be e to the power of minus 3t and uh, v will be e to the power of minus 2t okay so uh, u dash will be minus 3 e to the power of minus 3t and v dash is uh, minus 2 e to the power of minus 2t so uh, by Ronskian w which is u b u dash and v dash which is equal to uh, e to the power of minus 3t right which is u e to the power of minus 2t which is v and u dash is minus 3 e to the power of minus 3t this is minus 2 Okay, so we get uh, after simplifying e to the power of minus phi t. Okay, that is w. So here to get a value which is minus of integral uh, in the equation, uh, differential equation, um, which is. Y uh, the right hand side which you have is phi e to the power of 2t okay we'll make use of that okay here this will be phi into e to the power of 2t divided by e to the power of uh, minus phi t which we got w okay multiplied into the uh, v which is e to the power of minus 2t into d so uh, this you get as minus 5 e to the power of minus 5 likewise let us find b here b function here so this will be integral 5 e to the power of 2t divided by e to the power of minus phi t multiplied e to the power of minus 3 t into dt. So uh, this you get as phi by 4 right e to the power of 4 t. Okay. So we got this a and b let us substitute in this right. So when you substitute it phi p will be minus e to the power of phi t 
multiplied e to the power of minus 3t plus 5 by 4 e to the power of 4t multiplied e to the power of minus 2t right so this after simplifying you get 1 by 4 e to the power of 2t which is your yp so y is equal to yp uh, y is equal to yc plus yp right and then the same uh, which we have done earlier uh, so substituting uh, when t is a zero okay so you get the final answer as same as this okay now let us see one more method that is using laplace transform now let us uh, apply laplace transform to solve this differential equation that is y double dash plus 5y dash plus 6y is equal to 5 e to the power of 2t given uh, the initial condition which is y of 0 which is 2 and y dash of 0 which is 1 okay so applying laplace transforms on both sides of the equation we get l of y double dash of t plus phi l of y dash of t plus 6 l of y of t okay and this is l of e to the power of 2t okay now this is uh, s square l of y of t okay minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 uh, this is for y double dash of t now 5 into s into l of y of t minus y of 0 okay and plus 6 l of y of t okay which is equal to uh, 5 by s minus 2 now we have been given the initial condition y of 0 which is to y dash of 0 let us substitute it so after substituting it and simplifying it you get s square into l of y of t minus 2s minus 1 plus uh, 5 into s into l of y minus 2 plus 6 into y is equal to uh, 5 by s minus 2 right so uh, we get as s square plus 5s plus 6 okay into l of y of t okay which is equal to uh, 5 by s minus 2 and 2s plus 11 okay and further so uh taking uh, the inverse uh, i mean uh, you can take now this will be s plus 2 and s plus 3 on the left hand side l of y of t is equal to after simplifying you get 2s square plus 7s minus 17 divided by uh, s minus 2 and bringing on one side l of this which is uh, 2s square plus 7s minus 17 divided by s plus 2 s plus 3 and s minus 2 now uh, to find this uh, we'll use partial fractions okay so uh, a divided by s plus 2 
and b divided by s plus 3 and then c which is s minus 2 okay so we get uh, a value as 23 by 4 b value as minus 4 and c value as 1 by 4 so substituting this and uh, bringing l on the right hand side so you get y of t which is l inverse of this is 23 by 4 into 1 by s plus 2 and this is minus 4 into 1 by s plus 3 and this is 1 by 4 1 by s minus 2 so uh, we get as 23 by 4 e to the power of minus 2t because l inverse of 1 by s plus 2 is minus e to the power of minus 2t and this is 4 into e to the power of minus 3t and this is 1 by 4 e to the power of 2t so this is your y of t which uh, we got while solving different methods okay Please give uh, me some inputs about how did you like this video and share it. Thank you.